Spinning to them. Look at this animation, bro. This shit was heat. Who cuts through them all with his sword surrounded by green hockey. Shanks one shots hit. Fans have waited decades mm. to see Luffy's idol Shanks in action. Mm. So wow, the fact that this isn't in the top five. To the Man, what the fuck is in the top five? Mm. What a time. That definitely broke the internet. Thank you, bro. This is a live fight. I don't know why people talk shit about this fight on Twitter. This shit was heat. Altered clones of the former warlords. These include Eshorg, a fiery giant child version of Zoro's arch rival, Ehorg. Oh, and he has Mr. One's blade powers. This short sequence sees Zoro evade Eshorg's rapid strikes. While juggling a restrained car, mm, this shit was Even cinematic, bro. Which changes styles several times and gives heat. Zorro flashbacks of his Mr. One fight <laughs> is spectacular throughout. <laughs> the animators didn't have to go this hard for this fight, but the instant I loved how much they spiced up the sequence. Number nine, Luffy defeats Katakuri. Luffy's fight against Big Mom's right hand son lasts a long time. I thought this might have been, I thought this might have got a little bit higher, honestly. And coming back for more. After Luffy develops a new gear forth form, Snake Man, which increases his speed, he finally gets Katakuri on the ropes by quickly changing the direction of his attacks. Their final clash sends shockwaves through the mirror worlds, and the whole battle made waves across the internet with how well animated it is. The speed of the blows, the crazy directions Luffy's attacks move in, and Katakuri's incredible flexibility make this a triumph all One Piece fans wanted to share in. Number eight, Zoro cuts down King. Zoro's this was big. Always bring the hype, this is definitely a big deal. Against Kaido's commander, King, took things to a new level. King says, to them. Look at this animation, bro. This shit was heat. Who cuts through them all with his sword surrounded by green hockey as he leaps towards the angel like swordsman. The animation team go all out with this fight, particularly their final exchange, as Fiery Red meets Green in a clash that leaves King crashing and down a wing. After all, what's a fallen angel compared to the future King of Hell? No dear Ruzanika. Number 7, Whitebeard's Death. Every episode set in Marineford has some okay. kind of huge new developments okay. that sent the internet talking, but its climax sees several that made it explode. Really curious to know what that top Whitebeard five is going to be. Blackbeard, his former subordinate, who kills his ex-captain with help from his new crew. Although Whitebeard dying standing up and without any wounds of Crazy. retreat is badass, and worthy of enough discussion, it's his final words that turned the world upside down. One piece love. Uh -oh. it's Talk to him, let him know. That watches treasure, the One Piece, is indeed real, got not only in-world pirates talking, it also broke the internet in our worlds. Of course, the fact that it became a meme probably had something to do with it. Can we get much higher? Yes. 
Yes, we can. Can we get much higher? Number six, Shanks one shots kids. Fans have waited decades mm. to see Luffy's idol Shanks in action. Mm. So wow, the, the fact that this isn't in the top five. Up to the hype. Man, what Fence the fuck is in the top five? Nah, this seems crazy. Definitely did the manga justice. From ship to ship, Shanks hits Kid with a monumentally powerful single swing of his sword, wrecking Kid, his first mate, and causing explosions on Kid's ship. Phenomenal animation and peak execution of this scene left the internet, much like Kid's crew, in danger of drowning. Though in our case, it was in hype instead of water. So lame. Oh, so bitch made. That was crazy. Okay, that makes sense. did change everything. Luffy and the Whitebeard Pirates attempt to rescue Ace are seemingly rewarded. However, Ace's pride and his need to protect Luffy ultimately lead to tragedy. <sighs> Loser. <laughs> Nigga said, what? His fire is to expend a Kainu's magma, and he steps in to save Luffy from being killed by the hot blooded Admiral, taking the blow himself. Ace's tearful final words are certainly heartbreaking enough that the death got fans talking <coughs> and spoiling. But Ace's death was a true game changing moment. <laughs> Before he died, basically no one in One Piece died outside of flashbacks. Tough. The idea that no one was safe anymore sent the internet theory machine into overdrive. Number four, Galaxy Impact. Okay, okay, we talking about some shit right now. Okay, hold on. Really went ham with this moment. Really went ham. Who gave this nigga an urban dictionary? And the members of Sword decide to rescue him. No, yeah, this was dope. And they arrive in style by Garp launching their shit. Damn, so what the, the fuck is the top two, three? Because if this is four, then Garp and Arkiji damn, they gotta be in there too. But that's just the entrance. Who's on and Garp had a fucking fight? This is Garp's strength in his old age. Seeing him in his prime will probably do to the internet what he did to the plaza. Number three, Roger versus Whitebeard. Okay. From the very beginning of One Piece, which no matter that that. Old Roger obtained wealth, fame, and power. My fuck around see old and vid in here too then. Before we got to see the Pirate King in action. Whitebeard's samurai commander Odin leaps at the chance to fight Roger. Mm -hmm. The man who would be Pirate King sends him flying. I'm sorry. Enter Whitebeard, whose powerful hockey and impressive mustache are more than a match for so Rogers. gangster. Their clash is so strong, their blades don't even touch, and the shockwaves bend trees across the land. Seeing these two titans of One Piece finally fight, blew everyone away just as hard. Number two, Luffy versus Luchi. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. He doesn't really fight them again after defeating them. That alone would have made his second fight with Luchi noteworthy. But Luffy bursting out gear fifth 
takes this match up to transcendent heights. Love how this bitch is directed. Listen to these sound effects. Luffy's transformation is epic and kind of terrifying. Luchi's newly awakened form is fantastic too. Plus, Luffy's wacky, reality warping moves are both figuratively and literally off the wall. It's clear that the animators are having as much fun with the fight as Luffy is. Lotus animation. Well, almost. Anytime Gear 5th has been involved thus far, it's been the talk of the internet. Speaking of which... What's no one? Damn, I'm, I'm anticipating the fuck out of this hole. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified Shameless plug. Our latest Shameless videos. plug. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Gear 5th. People theorized it was possible before it even happened. The community okay. blew up when it happened in the manga. Duh, when should have guessed it. Awakened transformation debuted in the anime, the internet went crazy. Fair, not mad at that. After a near-death experience, Luffy comes back and is wilder and freer than ever before. In his white, rubbery new form, he brings a little more cartoon into this anime using his ability to warp reality to knock around Kaido of the Four Emperors. Bouncing attacks back, popping his eyes out of his head, and generally weaponizing goofiness. Gear 5th broke the internet by combining epic action with Luffy's childlike silliness. It would probably take the discovery of the One Piece itself to top this. Thanks. Is there a viral One Piece moment we missed out on? Let us know in those comments below. Yeah. Sunday fight was cool. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Okay, that was dope. Honestly, not too upset about that list. Um. Now that I see what the top five was, not too much I was rearranged that was in that five to ten spot. Um, I was surprised that the S Hawk fight made the top ten though, just because it was so quick and so short. But I'm not mad at it. That bitch was hard. Um, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Honorable honorable mention for a fight, I would say. Oh, okay, they're talking about breaking the internet. Like I said, I'm putting that Kuzan and Garp fight in there as well. That's my honorable mention. Let me know what y'all think. Till next time, peace. We just vending.